It's the Bill Workhouse at Courtside at Norristown Area High School getting ready for the tip off of the Ben Salem Norristown High School basketball game. Ben Salem comes in here tonight with a 10 and 7 record overall, 3 5 in league play, whereas Norristown is 13 and 5 and 6 and 2. And this is a vitally important game for both teams. Uh, Norristown is two games down in the uh, the league standing, and they can't afford to lose anymore. And therefore, and again, Ben Salem is three and five. And if they expect to get in the district playoff this year, uh, they also cannot afford to lose anymore. So it's an important game for both teams. With me tonight is Dave McAvoy, someone who's been around basketball in this area for quite a while. Not only as a player at PAW, but as a coach at PAW, and presently a coach in the Norristown area high school system. Dave, you've been around this area for a while, as I said. Uh, after the three quarters of the season is now over, how do you feel about the new league alignment uh, as it stands today? Well, Bill, I think that the uh, the first adjustment, moving all, playing a lot of schools in the Bucks County area, was co quite an adjustment for Norristown. But I think the parity is now, uh, it's obvious with Abington and Truman and, and Norristown be the front runners. I believe it's it's good for the as far as the enrollment is concerned. But I also would like to see uh, some of the old robberies brought back. Uh, we miss. The uh, rivalry, with, obviously, with PW and the Methactons and the area high schools, but I, I do think it's it's quite a challenge for Norristown High School. I feel pretty much the same way. I think it's a very competitive league, but I, I also miss the local rivalries between the Upper Marines and Norristown, the PW and Methactons, and so forth. Uh, you've seen Norristown play many times this year. Uh, what's your assessment assessment of Coach Cresswell's team up to this point? Norristown High School is a very the basketball team is a very unpredictable team. Uh, many games they look like they're definitely a district one contender and also I think there's a lot of times they're very lackadaisical as far as uh, their overall play they get a lead sometimes and, and let other teams catch up and it's a dog fight to the finish I believe when they rebound and they're even with rebounds with most teams they're as good as anyone in a district one I believe the same way uh, I've seen them a number of times and uh, they are explosive sometimes and then sometimes a little bit lethargic but that sometimes is typical of Norristown team uh, on tonight's game, Dave, have you seen Ben Salem play at all? No, I haven't. Uh, I haven't either, but I think that they're a very deceiving three and five league and ten and seven overall squad. They're a big team. They got two uh, big players in Broderick and Rogers. And uh, in talking to Coach Cresswell after the game down there, uh, they had a pretty tough time with them, and they're looking for a tough game tonight. Okay, Dave, thanks for coming along with us tonight. It's nice having you aboard. And let's go down to courtside and get ready for the starting lineup. Okay, Bill. Okay, Dave, we're soon ready to get the starting lineups. Uh, what do you think about tonight? Uh, well, let's say, what do you think about Norristown's team? I was looking over some of the stats for the local area, and one of the things I think was significant in Norristown's team is that they have four players that are average anywhere from 10 to 22 points a game, and I think when you get down the stretch, that's going to be important because they cannot concentrate on just one player like stopping Darren and expect to beat Norristown. They got to contend with four, sometimes five players at Norristown. There's no question. I think that uh, Norristown, if you look at the area scoring leaders, we have Darren Quinnen averaging 22.9 points a game. And uh, ranked number one, Frank Dobbs is sixth in the area, uh, averaging 14.3. And then you have Wayne Wise averaging 10.5 and Michael Simpkins at 9.5. And when you get that kind of balance in any high school game, you're bound to win. Okay, let's have, let's get to the Ben Salem lineup. We have Tim Kohler, number 32 at 5'11 senior, along with Dan Felder, number 44, 5'11 senior, Bob Downey, number 22, 5'11 senior, and then we get the big trees. We've got Derek Rogers at 6'6 junior and Gary Broderick, 6'6 junior. Looks like we might have a change in the Norristown lineup tonight. Yeah, we have a change. We have Frank Bishop starting for uh, Stan Hadrick. Stan went down with an uh, ankle injury last game, and it looks like he's a little bit tentative right now, but I'm sure as the game progresses, we might see Stan. Yeah, don't you mean Steve? That's Frank's daddy. Frank's dad. Young Excuse Steve me. we're talking about. Okay, along with Steve, we have uh, Frankie Dobbs, number five, Darren Queen and 12, Wayne Wise, 15, and Mike Simpson, 24, or Simpkins, 24. Oh, I didn't know we had a game. This night, I gave Tony loads of these things. I don't know if I can use them. Mm -hmm. This is going to 
better than you got. Okay. All right, getting ready for tip off. We have Rogers and Queening jumping at center. Darren takes the jump to wide, pass off the Dobbs, back to wide. Follow up by Dobbs, no good. Queening comes over the rebound, no good. Loose ball. Broderick comes up with a loose ball. Downey dribbles around down the left side of the court, looks to the center, passes off to Felder. Looks like Nordstown's playing a box and one against Downey. They got Broderick in low, pass in low, basket. And a block shot by Wise. Out of bounds, looks like Nordstown ball. It's obvious it looks like that Ben Salamis wants to go inside with the two trees, two six six juniors, and uh, could give Nordstown some problems. Uh, we got Bishop at Queen and outside, pass the corner to Dobbs. Inside to Wise. Wise puts it in for two. Somebody loosened up there on the defense. That was an easy basket. I'm sure Coach Purr doesn't want that kind of thing. Nice Tunk is back with a 2-2-1 press, which we expected. Felder shoots a jump off the glass, and it's two. Nice Tunk pushes the ball fast. They hit Queen into the corner. Goes in, jumps, shoots. Rodgers comes off with a rebound. Looks for Felder. Cole, number 32, brings the ball down the center of the court. Pass in to Broderick. Down he goes backboard. Felder jumps. Rogers takes a rebound. And a block. Oh, we got a foul on Darren Queenan. First foul. Rogers for Ben Salm goes to the line for two. Right away, Norristown starts off with a patented 2 2 1 press, which they've been playing all year. I'm sure they want to pick up the tempo of the game, David. No question. Uh, ben Salm last night, last time down, lined up in a 1 4. And they're using some real good screens. If they're patient, they're going to get some good shots. Okay, Rogers can the first one. I like the way he shoots the ball, David. Good follow through, nice good follow leg through. drive. Yep. No question. Great Four looking shot. 4 2 Ben Salem. Bishop gets the ball out of bounds and wise, dribbles up the center of the court. Ben Salem's playing the 2 3 zone. Queen it out front to Bishop. Bishop shoots. No good. Felder gets the rebound and pulls up a little bit. I don't think Ben Salem's going to look to run too much, David. There's no question. They, they want to walk up the floor, uh, run their offense, look for a good shot. That time, Bishop hurried a shot that time. I think they can move the ball a little bit around and get a good perimeter shot. They don't need a jumper right away. Looks like Norris coming back to a straight man-to-man. -man. Felder raises up and shoots. Rogers gets a rebound, puts it back in for two. I'm impressed with the big kid already for a junior. No question. That time, Norris failed to block out uh, Rogers, and he got an easy bucket. There's a steal, loose ball. Mike comes up with it. Mike, I'm meaning Simpkins, of course. Bishop goes through the zone, pulls up. Extends a pass to Dobbs. He drives the basket, jumps, shoots, and two. Great looking shot by Frank Dobbs. Hung in the air that time for a jumper from the corner. I really think Frankie Dobbs is one of the most underrated guards in the area. Well, there's an irate pass. Roderick saves. Out of bounds. Norristown gets the ball. Getting back to Dobbs, Dave. I really think Frankie's done a great job. He's shown a lot of poise, and I think the experience that he had last year is really paying off. Well, I, I have to agree with that, Bill. He is definitely one of the premier point guards in this area, and I believe down the road he'll be even a better college player. Well, we got a foul. Looks like it's on Broderick. 20, 32. I think that's on uh, Kohler. Yeah. Okay, Bishop passes the Queen on the right wing. Back to Bishop. He looks his defense over. Pass to Dobbs. He dumps into Wise. Simpkins up. Block shot. Oh, we got a foul by 33. The big, big young man Rogers. Good movement that time by Narstam. Seems if they move the ball around. Uh, the perimeter of the court, they're going to get a good shot. Uh, when they come down and just fire up the first shot, obviously it's not a good percentage shot. Dave, I think uh, a foul problem for Ben Salem might be serious tonight because they got a very small squad. They're going to come in here tonight with six players. Normally you have a team that's has 10, anywhere from 10 to 13 players, and that could be a problem tonight for them. Well, I think that's why they came out in his zone. They want to keep the tempo down and, and keep the fouls at a minimum. Okay, Simpkin makes one out of two. Score stands at 6-5 with 5.04 left in the first quarter. Cole comes down, brings the ball to the left a little bit. Looks to penetrate, pass to the corner to Downey. Downey raises up and shoots. No good. Wise hits a rebound. Pass out to Simpkins. 
up to Queenan. Queenan to Bishop. Nice pass by Bishop, followed by, uh oh, loose ball under there. Felder's got it. Good break by Norris down that time. Felder come up with a bucket, but uh, I think they were very uh, patient that time as far as looking for the open man. Okay, Cole has a bonus center. Norris stands in the 2 3 zone. Felder raises up and hits two. Score stands at 8 to 5. Ben Sam. Norris then looks to pump it up. They get up quick to Quinn. He goes to the basket, jumps. Shot, no good. Gets his own rebound. Block shot by Kohler. And we got a jump ball. Queen in that time. Very poor shot from the field. Norristown's running their patented sideline break where they bring the ball in bounds right away. And they have, this is a, a set play out of bounds. And so it'll be amazing to watch this game how many times it is open. They like to push the ball up the floor. That's part of John's uh, pattern. He, he's worked on it very hard. Dobbs hits two. Score stands at 8-7. Bent sound. Hey, Cole brings the ball up the center of the floor. We got Rogers and Broderick in the low post on both sides. Cole raises up, shoots, and two. So far, Dave, I'm, I'm impressed with Ben Sam's team. They're not, uh, they're not real quick. They're not real fast. Beautiful pass by Dobbs underneath the wise, sneaking in behind the defense, and we got a 10-9 ball game. North Norris down in a little right, bit. Dave. It looks like a trap. 2-1-2 two, two, trap. 2-2-1. Two, two, little pressure on the ball. Oh, ooh, Broderick came up with a rebound. He got fouled by Dobbs. That's Frankie Dobbs' first foul. Ben Sam gets the ball out of bounds underneath their basket. See what kind of defense Norristown sets up. They got a 2 3 zone. Rogers underneath, and he cans two more. I'm impressed with that young man, Dave. I think he's going to be a good ball player. That's Rogers' sixth point of the quarter. Wise on the breakdown, takes the rebound, pulls up, and he's fouled. I'm not sure. Fouls on 22. 42. It was on Downey, 22. That's 22. what I thought, Dave. 22. Excuse me. Was that his first one? First foul on Downey. Quinning for two shots at the foul line. First one's up, no good. David, it's obvious that Ben Salem wants to take the time. They'll take the break if they get it, but they don't want to get in a transition game with Norristown because that's that's the basis of their offense, getting the ball up and down the court pass. Norristown again comes back with a 2-2-1 press into Felder. Felder passes up to Kohler. Kohler dribbles up the right side. Looks to Downey, Downey shoots. Felder misses the rebound. Weiss takes on a break. He's going one on one against Kohler. Pass in. Loose ball. Downey picks it up. Picks the ball up. Looks like Downey's hurt. Got Cole. a finger in the eye. Uh, no call so far. That time, Norristown did not spread the break out. It just went down the middle without uh, filling in the lanes and committed a turnover. There's a steal by Wise up to Bishop on the side. Dobbs in the middle. Raises up. Block shot. We got a jump ball. Looks like we have Bishop and Rogers jump ball. David Hank North sounds a little bit lethargic up to this point. I don't know whether they're not into it right now, but I'm sure that they'll pick up the tempo soon and they'll get themselves into the ball game mentally. At 246 mark, we have Ben Salem 12 and Norristown High School 10. All right, we got a little bit of mispatch on this jump. We got Rogers 6 and Bishop at 5-9. As you break the downy, Queen and steals, downy steals it right back. Once again, Bill, you just mentioned there. a lethargic attitude. Queen in that time did not grab the ball like he should have. Uh, a player of his caliber should be a little bit more aware of what's going on in the court. Nice pass into Brother. He pump fakes and he hands two. He got Queen and up off the seat, feet a little bit, just enough to get that ball over top of and it's 6-6, you can do those things. Ben Salem remains in his 2-3 zone with the two big trees in the back. Bishop extends a pass. Bad pass by Dobbs. Out of bounds. Nice town's ball. That uh, skip pass or extended pass is a good pass, but you got to put some steam on that thing because the old cliche of cross-court passing is uh, not so much true anymore. As a LU pass to Queen in, and he puts it in for a 14-12 Ben Salem lead. They get the ball to Rogers in the middle, up to Broderick in the middle. Felder. Rogers picks it up, loose ball. We got a jump ball with Wise and Rogers. I think this young man can jump with anybody on the floor, and we're going to have a mismatch today. Uh, right now, day. Ben Salem 
Bill, if right now they should dump it right inside because they have a height advantage with Roderick at 6'6 six, six and Queen. And even though he does leap well, he just needs to put his hands up and take it inside. But Simpkins gets the tap this time. Dobbs with a, nope, he's blocked away by Downing. Okay, up court. Makes a long pass to Broderick. He goes up. Rogers takes, ooh, he caught a basket in the fence. Okay, Caesar Williams is an excellent official, and if he said it was basket interference, you can bet that it was. And yeah. all that means is uh, when Rogers pushed it through, the ball was in the cylinder, and that's illegal. It was a good call. Great call. Referee uh, Williams was in great position that time, and he was over the cylinder. Okay, Queen's got the ball, drives to the basket, and we get a foul against Felder. And I believe that's his first one. Ben Salem stands with 14 fouls up to this point. Norristown one. I beg your pardon, Norristown's got 14 fouls. We got Dobbs with one. Darren Queenan has one also, Dave. We missed one there somewhere along the way. Yeah, Ben Salem has 14 fouls, Norristown two. That's a kick. That out of bounds plays a set play that John runs just about every time out of bounds. and. Uh, I think Steve Bishop was just a little bit careless trying to pass the ball into uh, Darren Queenan. Bishop passed out to Dobbs. Dobbs dribbles out front at the top of the key. They set up their offense. Pass to Queenan on the right wing. Back to Dobbs over to Bishop. Another, Steve's got to uh, get a little bit more serious about this pass. Shot by Bishop and two. Score stands at 14-14. There's a long pass to Felder. He's, Bishop comes from behind. And we get a walk. That was a good defensive play on Steve. He didn't quit. He came up from behind and caused that walk on Felder. I think Dobbs is playing that way. Uh, excuse me. Stevie Bishop is playing real tough defense, and he hustles all the time. Another shot by Bishop. Comes off the glass. Dobbs takes a rebound up. Follow up by Queenan. He gets his rebound. He got a foul, I believe, by Broderick. 42. I'll tell you what, Dave, I can't, I, I don't know, I, I know John has a purpose for what he's doing, but I don't like to see Darren Queen out the top of that key as much as he is. Uh, I think maybe he'd get him in low, he's going to get a lot of three-point plays out of him. But there must be a reason for what he's doing, and I'm sure that, uh, I believe it's a set play when Darren starts high, and when they reverse the ball, he's supposed to roll inside, but I think sometimes Norristown is not patient enough to get that shot. Yeah. And it's amazing how many times you see Queen in at 6'3", 6'4", vertically go above six foot six and above uh, ball players and his timing is I believe unique Bill no question about that he plays at six four or he's six four but plays at about six 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 seven one of the toughest offensive rebounders I think to come around this area in the last 10 years I've been around here for 20 years in this game as coach and uh, you know a spectator and now the commentary and I don't think I've ever seen a kid take an offensive uh, ball to the offensive board as strong as he does there's no out uh, finger rolls or alley oops. He just takes it up there with brute strength. Uh, he came to second foul shot. We got a score of 16 14 with 40 seconds to go. Nice town in the lead. We got a they substitute. Put the on. Oh, that's an unnecessary foul, Frankie. That's his second. Uh, I don't think Frankie wanted that foul. No. We have a substitution for Steve Bishop. Walter Quinn and a senior is in the game. Five foot eight. Walter's a, a very quick uh, player. He has not played a lot this year. But I believe with a little bit of confidence does a super job as far as uh, handling the ball and running the offense. We also have John Ward in there, number 22 for Michael Simpkins, Dave. He's uh, a player that started early in the year and then all of a sudden was relegated to the bench. But uh, I think maybe all he has to do is get his confidence back and he'll be okay. He's got a lot of talent. Looks John like Ben Salem's going to hold the ball for one shot with 17 seconds to go. And hopefully he's winning the second quarter with a tie. We're down to 10. They better start making the move pretty soon. Six. We're down to about four. They better get it up. And we got a foul, too, at the buzzer. Referee Mickey Johnson calls a foul on, I'm not sure who that was on. That was on number four, Walter Queen, Walter a senior. Well, they might get their tie after all. 
That time, Ben Salem, the end of the quarter, did not run anything specifically as far as uh, getting a good shot, and it and very fortunate at the end to get a foul. Uh, stood around, really, was, they weren't looking for anything. With the two trees inside, Bill, there's no reason they could not get the ball uh, within a 10-foot range. I agree with you. They missed both fouls, so they still got a 16-14 disadvantage at quarter. Okay, Dave, we finished uh, the first quarter. We got 16-14 Noisetown lead. I don't know about you, but I, I th I'm still waiting for things to break open as far as Noisetown is concerned. It's obvious what Ben Salem's trying to do. They don't want to run. They want to set up their half-court offense, hopefully beat the press, and then just take their time, where Noisetown being a running team, uh, they really haven't gotten into it yet. Uh, I don't know whether it's lack of concentration, but they have a little trouble catching the ball. A little bit lethargic, as I said earlier. Uh, no question, Bill. They, they're playing a... Uh, Norristown's playing defense as if they're just wanting Ben Salem to come down the court and just take their time. And what happens, Norristown basically is a running team. And when they're not running, they tend to relax. And Ben Salem is very uh, patient. They're coming up the floor. And when they take good shots, uh, it puts them in a good position as far as scoring is concerned. Norristown definitely will look, that, look for them to up-tempo this quarter. And maybe, it will, I, I believe, John, uh, Coach Cresswell will go to a man-to-man. -man. Yeah, and I, I think uh, Norristown's done this before, but sometimes you got to be careful. Sometimes you don't come out of the doldrums. Okay, we got Queenan and Rogers jumping. Rogers gets a tip to Broadway. He pulls up, looks around, and he passes off to Fel uh, Cola, passing to Downey. Norristown again comes back into... Uh, one, two, two, uh, trapping type defense. Pass to the corner to Downey. Downey looks to the outside, moves in. He passes the foul at the top of the key. He drives, he shoots, nothing. Broderick comes up with a rebound. Uh, he passes out, we're gonna start over again. Downey to the key, nice pass to Felder. And he's up and he's fouled, I believe, by Wayne Wise. And I think that's Norristown's fourth team foul. We got a fellow at the line for two. Okay, Ben Salem's having a little trouble on the foul line. That's three fouls in a row that they've missed. Felder shoots again. This one he can. Score 16 five, 15 with 7.31 left. Second quarter. Do it. They run the sideline break again. That time Ward had a jump, open jump shot, but as Bill, you mentioned before, he's a little tentative now. He hasn't been playing a whole lot this year. John has the largest pair of hands for a, a, a ball player at 6'2 that I've ever seen. Okay. And if he grows into his hands, he might be 6'5". Queenan drives to the baseline, pass out to Dobb. Dobbs into Queenan. Queenan raises up, and it's blocked by Rogers. Nice block. I don't think that uh, Darren Queen is used to that kind of thing. It's almost a steal by... No, we we very rare. Cole very outside rare. with the ball. Good steal by Dobbs. Still behind the back, goes to the basket. And there's two. Looked like nice a foul that time, but nothing was called, Bill. I see Frankie Dobbs strip a lot of people this year. He got very quick in. And we got a jump ball. Looks like the press is paying off for Norris down. Uh, Bench sounds a little bit troubled. Uh oh, we got some problems here. We got some problems. Easy, fellas. Walter Queenan and Cole have gotten a little bit of a shoving match. I don't know, Dave, you and I were both small players. I don't know about you, but I never pushed anybody when I played. I wasn't big enough to push. Well, I think if I ever got a pushing match, I'd make sure that I had someone to back me up, Bill. I think there was just a little bit of uh, Walter Queenan was a little anxious to get in there and a little bit of shoving. I think he overreacted that time. And uh, sometimes that'll happen in basketball, when, especially when a player has not started and he's trying to do his best. Yeah. And he just overreacts sometimes. And uh, uh, it's a sign that he's looking to do the best he can. I'll tell you what, Coach Purr is vehement right now. I don't know why. I think he's concerned with uh, what was done about that little scuffle. But Coach Purr is vehement. He and Caesar Williams were really going toe to toe there for a minute. This is the type of thing that can pump a team up. This and maybe a slam dunk. Why did you say, you were talking about bigger players. Did you notice that uh, his brother is Darren Queenan? There's nothing like a brother being on the same court, Bill. That's for sure. I think Ben Salem's coach is very, very aware, Coach Purr, because right uh, now uh, he had some I words think, with Williams. Uh, I think, uh, and he was assessed with a technical foul. I believe so. 
Kerr got too vehement, and Caesar, Caesar is a good official, and uh, he'll let you go so far, and then that's it. He's going to take charge of this ball game. That's a two-shot foul this year. Uh, coach, uh, bench technical on the coach. And Frankie Dobb missed both of them. That, that's not Frank Dobbs. I don't think he took his time in those days. We got a score of 18-15. Northstown leads with 6:34 left in the second quarter. Okay, Walter Quinney swings the ball to left, extends the ball to the corner to Frankie Dobbs. He's back over to Walter. Walter rates, fakes, raises up, shoots a jump, and we got a foul. No, we don't. We got a walk on Wal Walter Quinney. I think he took one too many steps, Dave. Shuffled his feet. It's a nice fake, but uh, he just shuffled his feet a little bit. Northstown goes into the full court press again. Pass the caller, he pulls up, or Downing that is. Caller's got the ball in the corner, he looks a little bit touch, a bad spot to be. Dumps a high pass to Rogers, pass to the Broderick, he raises up and we got two. 18-17, Northtown leads with 6.06 in the second quarter. Queen swings to the left, that's Walter, back to Ward, there's a walk. There's the tentative, the inexperience uh, that John Ward had because of lack of play, Dave. He's just not relaxed right now. He's taking him out now. Probably settled him down. Bishop back into the game. And at that time, there was no need to, to uh, even fake out front. There was, they're playing a zone defense, Bill. And all he has to do is move the ball around the perimeter of the zone. Nobody there. That's right. Northstown has a trapping zone. Down to shoots in the corner. Nothing. Wise takes a rebound. Rogers picks it up. We got a foul on Wise. That's a hustle foul as far as I'm concerned. Wise made a little mistake coming off with the rebound. He lost it. Uh, he, he hustled to try to get it back and he causes a foul. You can't fault him for that. Okay, we got Michael Simpkins coming back in the ball game for Wayne, uh, Wayne Wise. We got Rogers from Ben Salem on the line shooting a two shot foul. A one on one is that, Dave? I believe it's a one on one. It's like a one on one. Oh, that's in and out again. He has a nice form, though. Okay, North Sound ball under Ben Sound's basket. Okay, we got Wayne Dents in the train coming in for. Coming in for Walter Queenan. Bill, just let me interject something about Wayne Denson. At North Town High School, they had two uh, big football coaches as far as. Uh, the Rays are concerned. Nebraska's Tom Osborne and Earl Bruce from Ohio State were in the talk to Wayne Denson. You realize Wayne was on the Parade Magazine All-American Team, Bally's All-American Team, and is just a, a physical specimen on the court. He sure is. Uh, in the last few seconds, we've had uh, Darren make a drive to the basket, get fouled by Kohler, I believe, and Darren goes in line for two. Misses. Rogers comes off with the rebound, pass over to Felder. He dribbles up the sideline, back to back to Cole. He brings it up the center. North sounds in the 2-3 zone or 3-2. Pass to Downey. Downey dumps into Broderick. Head fakes up, and we get a foul by Michael Simpkin. Okay, Broderick goes in line, I believe, for the first time, right? This is the uh, first time Broderick has been to the foul line. Okay, he makes the first one. The title scored 18-18. Good form that time. It I seems both Broderick and Rogers have uh, very good form as, foul as, as far as foul shots are concerned. You don't see that too much with the big, big kids at, uh, at this uh, stage of the life. Okay, we got a foul on number 33, Rogers. I think that's his second. Second you know, I'm uh, kind of impressed with these two big young kids. They're both juniors, and I'm sure Coach Kerr is happy to, to see them, will be happy to see them come back next year. They're, they're raw. they got a lot of work to do, but they have some good skills. They can't be more than 16 years of age, and uh, I'm sure that they're going to be okay. Plus, they might grow over the summer. <laughs> okay, we got a sub in. That is number 12, Mike Bell for... Ben Salem, he replaces Kohler. Downey raises up, shoots a jumper from the wing, and it's nothing. Uh-oh. Wayne Denson came off with a rebound, and Rogers picks up, I'm sure, an unwanted third foul. And that's not good with 5.01 left in the second quarter. That's a little bit early. 
Coach Perry replaces him with number 20, Mike Jones, who's a 6'3 senior. This is not an old team here. You got uh, three or four frontline players of Ben Salem to run the class, and I'm sure that they'll uh, have a good team next year again. There's something amazing. Wayne has a good shooting touch from the foul line for a kid his size. I can remember the Kendrick game when he was on the line at a critical time down the stretch where he had two foul shots. He had just come off the football field, and he canned both of them actually to win the ball game. Nice time pressures Ben Salem. He gets loose, passes the product, pressures there. Felder's got the ball, head fakes. And we got a foul on Wayne Denson, and Felder goes to the line for two. Looked like we had a walkout front, Bill, on Downey, but nothing was called. Right. Uh, we didn't, I guess the referees didn't see it. We see everything here, Dave. That's why we're sitting there and they're out there. That's right. Felder shoots, misses the foul. Queenie comes off the rebound, passes to Dobb. Dobb pushes up court. Okay, Frankie tried to force a little pass through to Darren Queenie on the break, but uh, nobody hurt. We got the ball out of bounds again. Bishop takes it out. They stack it in the line, pass out to uh, Denson. Denson to Dobbs. Dobbs back to Bishop. Bishop shoots. And two. I tell you what, when Steve gets himself set, I, he shoots pretty well. He's not a great shooter, but he's got some good technique, and I think he's going to. Oh, we got a foul at half court. Frankie Dobbs has his, I believe, third. Yeah, that's his third foul. I would look for John to make a change soon because I know his theory about that. He don't like to have a kid go into the second half with more than three fouls. He's not moving yet, but I think he will soon. Okay, Bell makes the first one. Score stands at 21 19. They had a trap that time in half court, Bill, and there's no reason for Frankie to reach in. And Bell makes a second one. Four stands, 21 20, 4 25 in the second quarter. Okay, Ben Salem drops back to the 2 3 zone. Bishop has the ball at the top of the key. Looks to Dobb. Goes through the center. Uh oh, Steve comes back. Back to Bishop. Over to Dobbs again. Dobb looks inside. They reverse the ball to the right. Nothing. Dumps it to the baseline to Sinkins. He goes to the basket. Uh oh, there's a bad pass. Bell takes the ball to the hole. Misses. Bishop comes off. Bell steals. Darren has the ball. He's taking it. Okay, uh, Bell came behind Darren for a nice flip steal. Unfortunately, went off one of his teammates. Here comes Stan Hadwick coming in. He's not at 100%. He's had a little bit of an ankle injury, but I'm sure he'll give it everything he's got. Okay, Hadwick into Bishop. Bishop raises up, shoots it. Looks a little short. Mike's foot was out of bounds. Mike Kimpton's foot was out of bounds, and it's blue ball with 3.45 left in the second quarter. Bill, you mentioned about Stevie getting set. When Bill, Steve said he's as good a shooter as there is in the area, that time his feet were not set when he shot, and it was the reason why it was off to the side. So down he shoots a jumper, it's off. Great block by Mike Simpkins that time. Yes, uh, Jones went up for the jump shot, and Mike went up and blocked it on him. And uh, in the interim, Jones comes up with a foul, sending Simpkins to the line for a one on one. Michael Simpkins is a deceiving a young man, Dave. He can jump very well himself. Uh, he looks a little tentative at times, but he's only a junior, and I think he's going to be an excellent player next year. Got nice shooting technique. He cans the first one. Scores 22-20. Mike sometimes plays is a little bit erratic, but when he when he when he concentrates as far as getting it done, he's as good as leaper as there is around. Okay, they make it both scores at 23-20. They Felder brings the ball up the left side. Oh, how he got away with that, I don't know. Okay, we got a foul on Darren Queen, and that's his second. Felder got a little bit out of control bringing the ball up that time. I'm not so sure he wanted to do what he did, but. Uh, Fortunately, they got uh, Jones on the line for two. I don't know whether Broderick uh, plays football, excuse me, Felder plays football, but he definitely has athletic build for that. Looks like a miniature okay. Denton out there. He comes off with the ball again. He got a trap. And we got a jump ball at center court. Now they're going to jump the foul line with, I think, Bishop and Felder. Okay, we got John Ward coming back in for Darren Queen. That's a good move on John Cresswell's part, getting young Ward back in there to try to get his confidence built up. They raise up, Rodney comes up, 
We got a foul on Bishop, I believe, and Rodney goes in line for two. Now, I think Ward is going to be an excellent player. He's only a junior. I think if Coach Cresswell stays with him and gets him some more playing time, next year it's going to pay off. He just needs some confidence uh, building time, and uh, now's a good time to do it. We have three juniors in the game right now for Narstown High. Steve Bishop, John Ward, and Michael Simpkins will all be back next year for the Eagles. Okay, Broderick misses his first foul. Sets for the second. And this one rolls in. The score stands at 23-21. Narstown pushing it up. Downey almost stole the ball. I think they're getting used to that sideline break and looking for it now. Okay, Ward goes through. Hadwick swings to the right over to Bishop. Down to Ward into the corner. Ward looks inside, nothing there. Back out to Bishop, over to Hadrick. Hadrick back to Bishop, over to Ward. Ward raises up, looks short. Poor shot that time, Bill. Was, yeah, feet were not set, set. No. and I think he's still a little nervous out there. Okay, Felder pulls up with the ball, pass over to Downey. Downey back out to Bell. Bell into Jones, Downey fakes, goes to the basket, pass into Jones, raises up two. Nice play, nice play. Downey got away with a walk that time, Bill. Might have. Okay, we got a score of 23-23 with 2.31 left in this first half. Bishop has the ball at the top of the key. Over to, oh, over to Ward, and Jones makes a nice steal, knocking out of bounds for Ben Selm. Eagles have the ball on the left side. Score 23-23, 2.26 in the first half. All right, Bishop has it in the corner out to Hadrick. Hadrick dribbles to the left, over to Ward. Ward looks inside to Denson, nothing there. Back to Bishop to the other side. Goes to the basket, over to Hadrick. Hadrick jump shoots. <clears throat> Nothing. Oh, we got a breakaway by Jones. Or is it Bell? Yes, it's Bell. And he makes it, putting Ben Selm ahead, 25-23. Bishop pushes the ball up the court, pulls up at the Havoc. Havoc go to Ward. There's a walk. A nice move, but just a little bit too quick. Next year, you'll see him do that, and he won't walk. And guarantee it, Dave. He's got some talent. Okay, Ben Salem fights back to go to lead 25-23 with 1.55 left. Broderick shoots it, passes into Felder. Ooh, a lot of action underneath. The referee's in my way right now. We got a jump ball. Okay, we got Broderick at 6-6 and Ward at about 6-3. Don't count John Ward out. He might get it. Yes, he Ward did. Gets yes, he out. did. Nobody comes up with it yet, though. Okay, we got a jump ball between Downey and Denson at center court. That's what I like to see, Dan. When that loose balls, they all want people hitting the floor. Loose balls on the floor, you have to go on the floor to get it. It's part of basketball, and it's amazing today how many times you don't see it. People just stand there, especially in the high school level, Downey they don't get the ball. Ready to jump in, Dave. Nice thing, it's an easy tip. We got 135 left. Bishop out front with the ball. Dribbles to the left, takes the splits of two front men, pass to Hadley, he dumps it into Simpkins, Simpkins raises up, and he can't two. Scores tied 25-25. 1.24 left in the first half. Okay, down he moves to the basket on the left, raises up for the shot. Nice rebound by Jones, but he walked. Okay, we got a minute 13 left, scores tied. Stan Hadley brings it up to center court, looking over the defense, moves to the left. Bishop with suit his own, Ward passes to the corner. Bishop dribbles around a little bit back to Ward. Fakes to the left, passes to Bishop. Take good time. I like to see this patience. There's no hurry. 53 seconds left in the first half. Score remains tied. Uh-oh. There's a miscue there. Bishop looked to pass. Hadley turned and went through. Ben Salem has the ball with 49 seconds left in the half. We got Kohler from Ben Salem coming back in for Downey. What has happened here with Queenan and Dobbs, both out of the game, Norristown does not have a player that they're used to going to, and they're all just standing around right now hoping to find someone who's going to shoot the ball. Okay, there was a shot by Bell that comes off. Bishop dribbles down the middle. 36 seconds, there's plenty of time. Denson has it inside, and he's out of bounds. At time, Wayne should have taken the ball, Bill, straight up to the basket. That body, no one was going to stop I'll tell him. Tell you what, that's three turnovers in less than a minute. I'm sure Coach Cresswell or Coach Perry don't, don't like to see that. We have Cole outside. He passes in the middle to Broderick. Loose ball. Luke kicks the ball. It's nice down ball at half court with 21 seconds to go. 
a lot of miscues the last last minute, Dave, and uh, that's not a good sign. Uh, I'm sure he, neither coach wants to see that. They want to hold that shot, hold that ball for the last shot. How do you pass over to Bishop into the corner of Ward? Ward looks into Denson. He's not there. Back out to Bishop. We got 10 seconds left. They better start doing something soon, Dave. They want to get a good one. Bishop to the basket. He drives. Block shot. Are we going to get the last one? Last shot by Bell. Or Jones, I beg your pardon. I'm getting this young man Jones and Bell mixed up. Okay, Dave, we finished the first half. Uh, we stand at 25-25, and again, uh, somewhat of a lethargic game as far as North Sound is concerned. I haven't seen that up-tempo type game that they're used to playing. Uh, hopefully they can get it together uh, the second half. Ben Salem remains in the ball game. Uh, anytime he can come into the second half, tie away from home you're in you're in good shape and I'm sure that coach Burr is aware of this they're not a bad ball club they're young and I think they uh, the, the best is ahead of them with uh, Rogers and Broderick being juniors Norristown right now is, is in a bit of trouble Ben Salem is playing a team game uh, when they've got the ball to the right spot especially into the big kids uh, they've scored or have gotten a good shot and Norristown right now has Frank Dobbs with three fouls and uh, Queen in with two fouls. And I think it towards the end of the half, Ben Salem definitely had the advantage. And uh, Norristown went back to standing around. And, and like you mentioned, Bill, Norristown's game is an up tempo game where they're running the break and banging the boards. And it seems that Norristown uh, thinks Ben Salem is just going to uh, play dead for him. They're, they're really fooling. Because if you look at the league standings right now, in the national division, Ben Salem now is in fifth place with four losses. And a loss tonight to the Eagles would give them a three. Now, in, in the playoff situation with the structure, I believe it's the top three teams that are, are going to get a, a bid to, for the playoffs. And Norristown can ill afford to lose any games at this point. Uh, I agree with you, especially if they want to stay in contention for the championship. I'm sure they'll get a playoff berth. But right now, they have a shot at winning the championship with the national division. And uh, I'm sure they're concerned with that. But we'll see what happens in the second half and see what John does to make some sort of adjustment to pick up this tempo a little bit. We'll be back uh, in a little while for the halftime show. Dave, thanks very much. Uh, I'm looking for... Okay, this is Bill Workhardt. are back at Norristown Area High School at the halftime of the Ben Salem Norristown game with a score tied at 25-25. Uh, with me right now is uh, an old friend of mine, Carl Martin, who uh, coached Ben Salem for quite a few years. I'm not sure exactly how many, probably as many as I've coached Norristown. Uh, he retired from the high school coaching and is now coaching in a small college. Carl, I was going to ask you tonight how you like retirement, but I can't since you're back to the uh, the old grind again. Uh, uh, I would like to ask you a few questions. Uh, first of all, how do you feel about the new league alignment we have uh, with the Suburban National and Suburban American Conference? Bill, I think this um, this change is good now that I'm out of coaching. <laughs> Prior to this, if you uh, remember back a couple years, uh, at least I do, as far as the alignment, one of the things that scared us a lot was playing uh, Norristown, Abington, Plymouth White Marsh. These were teams that we felt were uh, a step above us in uh, in talent and uh, experience. But now, uh, you know, I, I think that slowly Ben Salem, for example, is. Uh, is, is getting used to this type of competition. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm impressed with Ben Salem. They, they seem to be a young team. The two big kids are both juniors. But, uh, you know, when you can stay even up with Norristown uh, at their home court, uh, you're doing something good. Uh, as far as the league is concerned, you know, I like it. I think it's a very competitive league. I'm sure you do, too. But the thing I miss is some of the local rivalries, as I said in the pregame show. But uh, uh, is this the first time you've seen Ben Salem play? It's the first I saw Ben Salem play, yes, and uh, I know uh, the, the coach of Ben Salem is, uh, was my assistant, and uh, this is his strategy for tonight's game. He wants to keep his, his score low. He is uh, late in, uh, in numbers. He only has eight dress for tonight's game. He has some illness, and uh, he wanted to keep it low, and uh, he's satisfied, I'm sure, at halftime. They've done a very good job at it, and I think if they can contain uh, Norristown's press or beat Norristown's press and bring it up and set up the half-court game, they're going to stay in the ball game. Uh, I'm, I'm impressed with them. And, of course, uh, Norristown only beat them by two or three down at their place. So right, that's I, was, right. I was looking forward to a good ball game before we started tonight. Uh, Carl, how do you like coaching college ranks anyway? Well, Bill, I'm coaching at Philadelphia College of the Bible now. I'm only an assistant coach, and uh, it's perfect for me. Uh, I don't have to 
uh, clean the balls and uh, clean the floor and turn on the lights and all those things. I, I really go in there as an advisor, and I just love it. That's good. I, uh, the short time I spent at Delaware Valley, while well, I was there for three years, I really enjoyed it there too. I think the travel got to me a little bit, but uh, I, I enjoyed the school and I enjoyed the, the step up of uh, basketball, right. or the brand of basketball. Yes. Right. Well, Carl, thanks very much for coming over with me. It was really good seeing you. It's good to see you, Bill. It's a tough way to see you. It sure is. I didn't know, even know you were working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not really. I'm you. having some fun. Carl, thanks very right. much. You're welcome. We have Dobbs with a total of two rebounds, two personal fouls. Quinton with six rebounds, two fouls. Wise with a total of five rebounds, two fouls. And uh, Wayne Dents off the bench with three rebounds, and Bishop also with three Rebounds. Okay, let's hold off for a second, Dave. We'll get those a little bit. In. We got a loose ball. Bishop comes up with it. We got to walk right off the bat. And ben Sam, the two big kids, both have four rebounds apiece, with Rogers having three fouls at halftime. Okay, North Sun comes out with a press right away. Nice pass to Felder. He goes in and two. Nice pass out here by Downey. Almost a uh, full half court pass. Okay, Dobb has the ball at the top of the key, moves to the left, raises up and shoots the jumper. We got a, Queen gets a rebound, Felder gets a rebound after Queen and shot. Okay, Dobb has the ball to the left, drives, pass across to Bishop, Bishop raises up, and Cairns too. I don't know how he got that off, Dave, in between Broderick and Rogers. I guess, okay. it's, Bill, it's not the way you get it off, as long as you get it off. That's right, just so it goes in. As you press, they beat the front line, down he passes over to Felder, he raises up and shoots, two. Felder's a nice shooter when he gets time, they're gonna have to contend with him. Looks Felder's like a strong ahead, looking player, Bill. And I'll tell you what, he has no fear of going to the basket or scoring. Dob up from the corner. Downey comes out with the ball. Looks like he's going to pull up. He raises up and shoots. And there's two. And Sam goes ahead 31-27. Look for a timeout real soon from Coach Cresswell. Bill, if that, nothing happens this time, Norristown is getting one shot at a basket against this zone. And they're really not taking the great shots, percentage shots. They're not getting it inside for one thing, I'll tell you. They're moving the ball, but they're, they're looking to live and die by the jump shot tonight. Bishop goes to the basket. Nice move. It's off. I think we got a jump ball with Bishop and Felder. Great move to the basket. Tap by Wines, but nothing that time. And somewhat of a little bit of penetration by Bishop, but not a great shot. We're still looking for Norristown to move the ball around and get a good shot. Oh, there's a long tap to down. He's out in the open. He goes up and cans it. I'll tell you what, John's going to have to call a timeout soon, but I'm sure he doesn't want it because of the new rule. You know, you only get two a half. Okay, Bishop has the ball at the top of the key. Ben Selm in the 2-3 zone. Steve looks the offense over. Pass to Queen and back to Bishop. Back to Queen on the right side. Back to Bishop. He swings it to the inside. Pass it to Wise. Back to Dobbs. Dobbs to the baseline. Shoots the jumper. And two. Okay, uh, Kohler takes his time. He's covered by Dobbs. Spin dribbles to the left. Looks over here to Downey. Deflected by Dobbs. Downey has the ball. There's a pass across to Felder. And they look for that extended pass, Dave. Good rebound by Downey. And he pumps. And he's up and he misses. It's okay. Golf blue. Nice rebound by Downey, but it wasn't a, a real strong shot. Okay, Bishop brings it up to court. They're running it up. He pulls up, sets up the offense, pass to Queen and Queen to the corner. Corner drive, Dobbs base, drives the baseline, and it's off his foot. Blue ball. Score stands 33-29. Ben Salem with 5.05 left. Dave, you know, I think sometimes, you, you know as well as I do, uh, the first three or four minutes of the first half always has a, a lot to do with the second half and, or, and the tempo of it and how the outcome might be. And it uh, looks like it might be true tonight. No question. Ben Salem is, is here for they're, they're for real tonight, and they're playing a very good, uh, intelligent basketball at this point. Norristown is a little bit impatient. I think their game plan is paying off. All they want to do is get it up and play their half-court offense and take their time, and it's working out.
Here's a shot by Bishop and a rebound by Cole. Cole brings it up the side. He's out front, passes it down into the corner. Downey looks cross court, nothing there. He dribbles it back out. Oh, there's a nice steal by Dobb, but he loses it on the sidelines. Blue ball. Great hustle that time by Dobbs. Frank gets his hands on a lot of balls out front. And I'll tell you, Narstack needs to continue to put the pressure out front. I think they're going to get a few steals here. A nice long jumper by Downey from the corner. Rodgers takes the rebound up, and he makes it. 35-29, 4.20 left in the third quarter. Dobbs brings it up center court. Bill, you mentioned about the, 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 the timeout structure in basketball this year. It looks this way that John might be forced to take a timeout if Narsa continues to play the way they well, we'll are. see. That's uh, Queen of Kings, a jumper from the right side to make it 35-31. Downey drives to the basket, passes out to Kohler. Kohler over to Downey, looks inside to Broderick, nothing there. There it is. He opens up, penetrates into Rogers. Nice move. Oh, we got a foul over top by Broderick. That was a nice little uh, move by the big kid inside. He's a little bit young, but I'll tell you, next year he'll probably can that nine out of ten time. Remind me a few years back of a, a good hook shot. I'll tell you, you see, them, need to see more high school boys learning to shoot that little jump hook, a little hook shot inside. Well, you know the kids today, it's the day of the jump shot. All they want to shoot is a J. A good steal by Felder. He's got quick hands for a, a stocky kid, Dave. Good looking athlete. And Northstown gets it into Bishop. Bishop dribbles cross court to the right side, past the Queen and Queen and looks back to Bishop. Bishop looks over the defense, penetrates a little bit. Nothing. Queen got at the top of the key, raises up, shoots a jumper. Comes off and almost gets his own rebound. Bishop has it. Okay, we got a foul against 22. Downey, and I believe that's his second and third. That's his second, second foul. Okay, Bishop to the line for two, 320 left, scores 31 35. Ben Salm. Steve makes the first one. And bring it close to three points, uh, three point difference. And he makes a second, scores 35 33. Two point lead by Ben Salm. Felder brings it up the right side, covered by Bishop. Felder moves to the basket, raises up, shoots a jumper, and a good shot. Nice guard, David. Nice guard. I like the way he plays. Dobbs gets it, brings it up quick. Dribbles to the corner, raises up, shoots a jumper, looks long, Felder goes up, he gets a rebound off of Wayne Wise. Ooh, almost had a steal. Another cross court pass to Downey. Good move. Oh, it's blocked by Queen and top guy, we got a four and one, pass to Simpkins. Oh, wow, you can't let those opportunities go by. You got a four and one, and we get nothing. Bill, there's Rogers that time, shown as an experience at six foot six, and Wise at six two. Could have taken the ball up to the basket, but hesitated and walked. Yeah, a little intimidation there, uh, probably due to inexperience, as you said. Hey, what, Ben Salem, is getting the ball past the front line of Norristown Press, and that can be dangerous, especially if they can convert the basket. All right, Queen and Cairns went in the low post. It's 37-35. Norristown with a 1-2-2 half-court press. The cold half-court. He throws it long to Downey. Oh, Downey throws an alley up to Felder. It's not there. Bishop's got it. Pass out to Dobbs. We got two and two. Frankie pulls up, hits the jumpers, high score. Looks like Norristown's picking it up a little bit, David. Dobbs steals the ball, and of course, good pass from Felder to Kohler, and it's now 39 37 Norristown. Long pass to Rogers. Oh, he walks. That's what I mean. They beat the press and they get nothing. That's what they have to do if they're going to beat Norristown. Uh, Bill, I don't wear glasses, but I believe he shot that down that time. Shot it down? Yes, he was up that Over high. Over the basket, I believe it. Okay, we got Dobbs with the ball at the top of the key. Pass to Bishop. He moves in, brings it out over to Dobbs again. He's in the queen in. We got a foul, and I think that might be on 42, Broderick. 
That's his second. We've got Rogers a 6-6 with the uh, player with three, and Broderick 6-6 six, six with two. Okay, Walter Queening comes in for Frankie Dobbs. Give him a little rest. I don't think John will keep him out of there too long. We've got 39-37. Good move one, by Coach Cresswell. left. Good right now, Dobbs Bishop. has been... Bishop makes a steal. He's in trouble. Okay. Ben Sam gets the ball with 112. It was off Bishop's knee. We got 39-37 score. And Ben Salem ball. The game remains close, David. Oh, nice pass by Ru Oh, and a beautiful block. Oh, my goodness. What timing. I'll tell you what. That could take the starch out of you. There's another steal by Wise, but he fouls it. And I think Wayne's hurt a little bit on that. He banged his knee on the court. Great Let hustle get back by Wise. That last play, David. Rogers had the ball under the basket with Darren Queening about six feet away from him. When he goes up to shoot, Darren's on top of it. That was a tremendous block. Great timing, and that's one of Darren's biggest assets, his, his vertical jump and how quick he can get up there. He explodes off the floor. Okay, we got Wise. With the foul, Ben Salem takes it out with 48 seconds to go. Felder gets up. Blocked by. Okay, with a block by Wise. Rogers gets the block and bangs it off Bishop's leg. It's still Ben Salem's ball under the basket. 44 seconds to go. 41 37 North stand. There's the alley oop into Rogers. Oh, he made a big mistake there. Katie, Katie closed the door. We're getting a little out of hand now. The big kid, Rogers, made a big mistake down here. 6'6", six, six, you don't bring the ball down around your knees, and that's just what happened. He got it up high, put it down low. They swiped it away. Walter Queen and missed a uh, wide open layup, which I'm sure uh, Coach Cresswell didn't like to see. I'm surprised the technical wasn't called down there since somebody banged that backboard. That's a discretionary call by the official when he hit the was, backboard. But, uh, was it one of Ben Salem's players? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Hadrick on the side, goes to the basket, pass in the wise, wise shoots, nothing there. I think that was tipped in by Darren. Okay, in the third quarter, 43-37, Norristown leads by six. Uh, there for a period of time, Norristown got into their normal game. The, the enthusiasm, the tempo, uh, that drive picked up for a very short time, and they uh, they went from about four down to six up. Whereas Ben Salem had their opportunities, they were getting past that press, but they were turning the ball over every time. So, uh, and as you know, Dave, when when you're playing a pressing defense, you realize you're going to give up those layups if the other team can convert it. But if they don't, it's to your advantage because you can get it out and get down the other end and score quickly again. Uh, with Norristown's defense, if you look over the stats, they're like second to the last in team defense. Uh, they're 22nd, uh, ninth in team defense in the area, but in offense, they're number two. And that's, I think, because of the type of game they play. Bill, you mentioned one point before we start the fourth quarter. A big play like a block can definitely change the momentum of Norristown. And I think with Queen and Block and that shot, I think we'll see the, the enthusiasm increase on Norristown. And yeah, that pumped them up a little bit. That, a dunk, a technical foul, as we said before. His, Wise takes, oh, Wise made a move to the basket. I think he was fouled by number 32, Kohler. And that's young Kohler's third foul also. Okay, with Ben Salem, we have two players with three, and Kohler and Rogers. For Norristown, we got Wise with three and Dobbs with three, so nobody's in any real serious foul trouble right now. Okay, Hadrick's got the ball on the left wing. He moves in a little bit, passes across to Dobbs. Dodd penetrates, pass off to Hadrick. He dunks into Wise. Nice play. Very nice pass by Hadrick into Wise for a layup. 45-37, Ben Salem. There's another steal by Wise. Who knows? That might pump them up a little bit. Like I say, it might take a dunk. Okay, Hadwick slows the ball down a little bit, passes the Bishop, runs through the zone. 
Fish it back to Haddock. Haddock looks into Queen and he goes up. And it's nothing. Okay, we got a jump ball. We got Wise and we got uh, Downey jumping at the circle. Uh, I, I sense some some intensity with Norristown at this point. I think they they figure they better get in the ball. They're going to be in the ball game down the stretch. Jump ball. Dobbs comes up with it. Hadley has the ball pass across to Dobbs. He walks with the ball. Shuffles feet a little bit on the fake. Again, I don't think the fake was necessary on that, Dave. He wasn't going any plate. That last quarter, Bill, just interjects something. Norristown on scored Ben Salem 18 to 12. In that stretch, yep. Okay, we got 6.59 left. We got Downey with the ball pass in the... I'll tell you what. Hadwick gets a, a, a pass from a steal and wide. I'll tell you what, uh, Ben Salem is making a mistake. They're looking to Broderick too much where Wise has a time just perfect. He's made three steals in the last three minutes from the cage. Now, they're doing the right thing by getting it in the middle of the press, but, uh, you know, when uh, when the defense detects something like Wise has been doing and st stepping in front of that postman, it's not there. they got to go to some other avenue, and that's just what happened. Wise is hiding back there, anticipating the pass. All right, we got Broderick at the line for two. Oh, he gets one to bounce in. Up to this point, he hasn't been too effective on the foul line. He's got maybe like three for six. Good time to get it. Raise up for the next one, and that one bounces in. 47-41, Norristown. We got 6:37. Norristown gets the ball in the court. Hurry up the court in a hurry. I should say I'm getting a little mumbly here, Dave, with all this talking. Okay, the ball's passed into the court by Dodds. He dumps it into Wise. Ooh, he misses the left-hand layup, and Rodney comes up with a rebound. Ben Salem picks the temp up a little bit. Uh, they, pull, they pull it out, Cole pulls it out, looks for Felder. Felder drives the baseline, raises up for the jump shot. Nothing. Rogers comes off. Again, Dave, he brings it down. He brings it down, and he gets tied up by a 5'8 kid. Uh, he'll learn. He'll learn. I think he's going to be a, a, a good player in a couple of years. Okay, we got... Felder's got the shot. He shoots a jumper. He misses. Comes off. Felder gets a steal. Goes to the basket, and he lays it up. Beautiful reverse layup by Felder. He is a nice-looking athlete. I tell you, I like the way he plays the game, David. No question. Offense, he's a big threat for Ben Salem. I think he believes he's a streaky shooter, but he plays with a tenacious hustle each time. Even when he misses, he's going in for a loose ball or the rebound. Okay, we got a walk by Wide. A little bit over-anxious to get hop. This is an important time right now. Ben Sound comes down and converts at 47 45. That time okay. Wise try to dribble inside our zone. You can't do that, Bill. Okay, okay, Felder brings up the right side. A little bit of a hurry. Comes up, shoots a jumper, nothing. Look at Rogers on the rebound. Oh, look at this. Okay, looks like uh, Wise was a linebacker on that one, grabbing the kid coming through the middle of the line. But that's only overzealousness, I think. How many fouls is that on Wise? That four? That's four fouls, Bill, on Wise. That looked like a wrestling hole, Bill. It looked like a near-arm takedown sure that time. It sure did. But he uh, he hustles. He, I like the way Wayne Wise played. I think Wayne's whole game is hustling. That's right. Uh-oh. Beautiful rebound by Denson. Uh-oh, there's a steal. Okay, we got 47-45 game. Norristown <coughs> by two. Hadley brings it up center court. Bishop on the right, Dobbs on the left. Denson and Queen and underneath. Dobbs through. Pass to Bishop. Ooh, he tried to dump it into Darren, and Darren turned his head. It would have been a nice play, but it was a little bit too crowded in there. Okay, a lot of time. We got 4.56 left. Cole has the ball. Over to Downey, Downey back to Kohler. Kohler looks it over. We got Broderick at the high post, Rogers low. Over to Downey on the wing, looks to Broderick. We got a reach in foul by Frankie Dobbs, and I think that's his fourth. The big kid Broderick's got to learn to keep the ball off the floor, too, when he turns his back to the defense. Uh, again, he's lost it a couple times, but he's going to learn. Both those kids are going to be good players. 
Bill, when they overload against his zone, would yep. Roger get a high-low effect? It's very there tough it to cover there right there. Is. There it is. Uh-oh. Ben Salem got away with a foul that time. Broderick was definitely over the back. Hey, what, they got away without getting the basket. Maybe they should have won that. They should have uh, had something out of that. There's a high, well, you, oh, bad pass. Broderick comes up with a loose ball. Down he dribbles up, pulls up, passes off the Cole. Cole looks to the corner of Felder. There's your shooter. That looks good. Ooh, Rogers rebound. Kansas, tight score. 47-47. Nice down is not. They've lost the intensity again. I don't know what it is, but they're for about two minutes. They had it. Now they become lethargic again. Uh, how can you turn yourself on and off like that? Yeah. You know? But they're young kids. You know, they're 16-, 17-year-old kids. Swing the ball to Haddock. He jumps shot. Shoots a jumper, nothing. Brody gets a rebound. Pass out to Felder. Is he going to take it all the way? No. Smartly pulls up. Looks outside the caller. They're being very patient. It's Felder on the side. There's they bet that whole left low. side over. There's your high low play. Bill, that time they overloaded the whole side against the zone. And obviously, Broderick at six foot six when they put the ball in the middle. Can create some problems. That's right. They they are flooding the thing on the whole left side, uh, and that creates a problem on the left side of the zone. Bishop with three fouls. Okay, we got 47, 47 score, 3:27 left in the fourth quarter. Getting down to the nitty gritty. Broderick misses the first one. Benson hits it out of bounds. Ben Salem's ball under their own basket, and Wayne Wise checks back in for Denson. Wise with four fouls. Got a stack on the side. Down he raises up to shoot the jump. That looks good. Nope. Dobbs comes off the side. Comes up quick. Passes to Wise. All right. Just misses the layup, but he's fouled and goes to the line for two. They're the kind of layups you can't miss on a break, Dave. I'll tell you, everything was right until the layup. And uh, But again, young kids do it. I wish I had a dollar for every layup I missed in my career. I'd second that emotion, Bill. Okay, wait. Wise checks, shoots first, and it's good. 48 47, 318 left in the fourth quarter. Looks like Norristown going to go right back into the press again. They got Bishop and uh, Queen it up on the line. That's usually the way to line up when they press. Okay, misses the sec second one. Broderick gets a rebound. Call walks it up the center court. We got Broderick up high, Jones low. Now that Jones and Broderick both go low. Narstown's playing a 2 Cole 3 at this point. The jumper. Poor shot. Poor shot. He wasn't set, but his feet were all tangled. Dobby comes up. Another break. Wise misses this one, too. Darren up. Misses that one. Wise up. Misses that one. Rogers gets a rebound. Three shots. No basket. They got to convert those. It seems that they're each waiting for each other, Dave. Nobody wants it. I never. I've never seen so many uh, papers missed at both ends of the floor for a long time. Norristown's missing their share. Ben Salem's getting new opportunities, and they're not converting. Like I say, it looks like they're just waiting for each other, and somebody better make their move soon, or you get down to the time where uh, you want the, the, cool, the cool dude to have the ball, so to speak. I think with Norristown right now, Bill, with the score 48-47, up by one point, the key right now for Norristown is get the ball inside to Queen and or Dobbs in a position where they can get a good shot and get in position to rebound if they miss. They're I trying agree. to force against the zone, and uh, it hasn't worked. I agree. I think when they had that little stretch where they outscored Ben Salem 18-12, they got three baskets out of Darren in the key, and now they're, they, they're not getting it into him again. They got Wise on a nice pass inside. He missed the basket, but that's where they got to go. Either get the basket, get fouled, or get three-point play. Now we'll see what happens. Norristown's guards are playing back around the 12-foot line, conceding a long jumper. Uh, right now they're trying to nice seal by, by Dobbs. Dobbs. Takes it to the basket. And a foul, and the basket's good. I'll tell you what, Dave. Frankie Dobbs anticipates the pass as well as anybody I've seen in a long time. I don't know how many steals he has during the course of the year, but I'm sure there's quite a few. Covers the passing lane very well, anticipates a pass, and he's there to steal. Many times converts it into a basket. This time it's a three-point play. Looks nice, sent up 51-47.
Plenty of time. 229 left. Norristown with a four-point lead. And like you say, David, it looks like Norristown just inviting Ben Salem to shoot that jumper. He's going to drop a pack it all in. There's a shooter right there. I think they want to get Felder to shoot the thing outside of anybody. That's what he did. Looks, looks good. Looks good. Got a nice touch. Got two point difference. 51 49. Norristown leads with 155 left. Hadwick swings the ball to the right. Reverses the ball to Dobb. Dobb dumps it into wide. Beautiful pass. Quinn gets a rebound. All right, raise up, no basket. Wise put it in, <coughs> but Darren was fouled before Wise's follow-up. Okay, we got Rogers from Ben Salem with four. Roderick has four also. And Downing, we got three kids from Ben Salem with four fouls. Darren makes the first one to make it 52-49. Sets up for the second, bounces it three times. Follows through nicely and converts it. We've got a four-point lead with 144 left. Okay, Kohler brings it up center court again. Norristown drops back in the 2-3 zone, and they're going to pack it in. They're going to let him take it outside shot. Just token pressure. There's a spare pass and a steal. Blue ball off Patrick's foot. I think the difference, Bill, the last couple minutes has been the quickness of the Norristown high guards. Dobbs, yeah. along with Hadrick and Bishop, have gotten their hands on many a ball, not only off the offensive boards, but out front. Yeah, and you know that the, the Ben Salem guards are doing a very nice job, but they're not the greatest ball handlers. And I think then at this time, we're, with 1.22 to go and the score so tied, they get a little tentative. Okay, we got a two-point game. We've got a substitution left. At this point, Bell in for Kohler. Kohler didn't do much the second half. I think Bell's a little bit, just a little bit quicker. Okay, well, less we're under a minute. Ben Sale pressing a little bit down to the basket. We got a foul by Felder, and it was a good foul. It was a good foul by Felder because it pretty sure that Dan was going to stuff that thing home, and he just prevented him from making a two-point uh, conversion. Now he's going to make him work for him. Darren sets up after three dribbles, shoots, and good. He's got a nice cut. Darren's usually pretty good from the foul line. Score 54-51 with 54 seconds left. Darren dribbles three times, sets, shoots, and it's good. Coming in this game, Norristown was averaging 73.6 a game. And as you see tonight, a lot of missed shots and uh, lack of opportunities, but down he makes two. We got a 55-53 game. 41 seconds left. Right down to the wire, folks. Anything can happen now, I guess. Anything can happen. Nice no, Looks like they're going to hold it out. How do you get the ball over to Dobb? 26 seconds. Ben Salem better make a move soon. I would think I would want to foul yeah, Hadrick if I had to at this right point. Line right now, not him. Wrong person. They got the wrong man. I think if I was going to foul anybody, it would have been Stan Hadley. No question, Bill. Now Steve got Bishop, Bishop. He's a very good foul shooter and a very clutch player when it's close. Okay, Bishop sets up. Shoots and good. Three-point lead. That's a big foul shot. Okay, this is a second, it's 18, 17 seconds left. They better do something. We got fouled. Looked like he got fouled, let's put it that way. From this, from this angle, it seemed like somebody hit his body also with the shot. Yeah. I think Narstein got a little tentative that time and stood around. I think. Uh, Sometimes uh, when you get the wrong angle, you don't see it as you think you do. Uh, I'm sure if he was fouled, Caesar would have called it. Okay, we got uh, seven seconds left. 
Norristown leads 56-55. Bill, I think that was a little bit of the ex-referee and you came out that time. Yeah, but I refereed a long time ago. <laughs> I don't know whether I could run up and down the court now, let alone see the thing, but uh, I enjoyed it while I did it. It was a lot of fun, it was good experience, and uh, it made me appreciate the job the 15 years that I was coaching because it's not an easy job. It's probably the toughest sport in the world to, to officiate. You're never right. You're never wrong either because the other team sees it differently. Well, we'll see what uh, Ben Selm has decided on. Uh, they're going to have to foul real quickly or get a steal. If, if Norristown does get it in, they better foul right away. It looks like Downey and Felder are going to try to trap the ball immediately when he comes into play. They got everybody up court here. Norristown looks like if they can break somebody along, they might get a shot. Here it is. Okay, there's your foul. Something's wrong. We got a sec. Nothing went off the clock. Of course, clocks are funny. You know, uh, sometimes they don't get that full second. You won't get it uh, showing on the clock. That's the fifth foul for uh, Downey, but a young man playing a nice ball game. Well, young Steve Bishop's being tested tonight. Just the second time to the line in the last 15 seconds. And uh, I would say this one is probably a little bit more important than the last two, Dave. Well, I think Steve just has to concentrate on what he has to do, get his feet set, and uh, there's no question he has the ability to make these shots. That looked good, all the way. Good rotation that time, Bill. Uh, relaxed with his legs, and I'll tell you, he's got great form. Well, his dad was a good shooter, and I'm sure that he's taught him a lot uh, since he's been a little boy. Yes, he has. Spent that a lot of time. That should be it. That should be it. They don't have... Oh! And he can't, but it don't count. I think Felder, if he shot from the parking lot, Billy might make it tonight. He might have tonight. I'll tell you, I like that young man. He's a good player. Played a tremendous game tonight. Ball in bounds. Ready, Mr. Right here. Okay, ready? Okay, Hadwick gets the ball and he's fouled immediately uh, with three seconds to go. It should be it. Uh, Mike Jones gets the foul. That's his second. Well, I'll tell you what, David. It looks like uh, we have this one, but it, uh, you know, wins a win. It wasn't a very attractive win, but I'm sure John will take it. You have those games sometimes. Still goes on the left, whether it's 58, 57, or, or 98, 57. Well, I think it's sort of like a double-edged sword, Bill. They've held tonight Ben Salmon with 55 points, which was a good sign of defense. But I think Narston did not get into the flow like they normally wanted to. But a win's a win. That's right. And I was almost right. Felder just missed that last shot from about 40 feet. Yeah, you're right. He no question, he was a from, tremendous player tonight. Yeah, he uh, probably could put him in from the parking lot. Okay, uh, Narston wins 59-54. That gives him another league win. We'll be back shortly for the post-game show. Thank you. Dave, uh, we're back again. Uh, Norristown winning 59-55 over Ben Salem, and uh, not a real great uh, uh, performance by either team. It was a good game. Maybe uh, Ben Salem's game plan dictated the type of game it was. Uh, Norristown never did get into their transition. Uh, they missed a lot of people. They had trouble catching the ball. And, and so did Ben Sell. Maybe it was the importance of the game. But, but as it is, Norristown comes out 59-55, and it's a win, and they go 7-2 in the league. Well, How do you feel about the game? Well, I felt that Norristown, uh, the second half, de the defense basically won the game for them the second half. I believe the first half they were a little tentative. And when they came out and put the half-court pressure on, Dobbs had a few steals. I think it, it got the momentum going. I think that was the, that one spurt they had in the, in the third quarter was the one key uh, factor that got him moving. But I, I believe the Norristown was very fortunate to get a win tonight. I thought Ben Salem played exceptionally well considering they're playing away from home. And believe me, there were a few uh, points here and there, a few turnovers. Ben Salem could have won the game tonight. Well, I feel the same way. But like I say, a win's a win. It takes Norristown to 7-2 and two in the league, 14-5 uh, overall. And I'm sure that uh, John's pleased with it. Sometimes uh, you're not happy with the win, but uh, it still goes on the left-hand side of your standing. And who knows, maybe we get lucky tonight uh, and uh, Truman High School got knocked off or Abington got knocked off. But I think the, uh, the standings are going to go down to the wire, and I think uh, Norristown's got a good shot 
at beating Truman up here as well as Abington. And I'll tell you what, I think when Abington and Truman comes here, you're going to see a lot more fans. And you know as well as I do, when you get fans in the stands, it pumps the kids up a little bit. Uh, I'm really a little bit disappointed or somewhat surprised at, at Norristown because of the fan support. We're not getting the crowds here that we used to get. And it's, I think it's a darn shame because uh, we've got a nice basketball team. They play hard. They play well. Uh, they're well coached. I just think we ought to get more people out to support them. But uh, fans are fans, and uh, who am I to say? Dave, it was nice having you with me tonight. Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, let's have the statistics for the game as far as scores went. Okay, for Norristown High School, we had Frank Dollins with 15 points, Stan Hadrick with three points, Darren Queen with 15 points, Wayne Wise with nine points, Michael Simpkins with five, Steve Bishop with 11, and a couple key uh, free throws at the end, and Wayne Denson with one, and came off the bench and played a great game as far as rebound is concerned. For Ben Salem, we have Kohler with two points. We have Felder with 15, an outstanding effort tonight by Felder. We have Downing with eight points. We have Derek Rogers with 12, and Garrett Broderick with 12, and realizing both are juniors, the two bookends underneath. Both will be back next year. Mike Bell with four points, and Mike Jones with two points to wrap up the scoring. Okay, Bill? Okay, Dave, thank you. And again, I'd like to say something about Rogers and Broderick. I think uh, with a year under the belt, they're going to come back, and you're going to see two much improved players next year. Uh, I wouldn't mind having two juniors coming back the size of them and with their role ability. I think with the year's work, they're going to be excellent players. Uh, now, Dave, I can say thanks very much for helping me out tonight. It's been a pleasure. Uh, maybe we can get together and do it again sometime. Bill, it's Until been good our, working with you. Thank you. Until the next game, which will be Friday, uh, Tuesday night, uh, this is Bill Workhouse signing off at Norristown Area High School. Boys, sixth grade, let's go quickly so we can get these last two events in. Boys, sixth grade. A reminder, sixth and seventh grade students, do not dismiss until you are dismissed by Mr. Howell. Let's go, sixth grade boys. Seventh grade boys, get ready.
Seventh grade boys, let's go. Everybody else report back to your section with your homeroom teacher. All students back with your homeroom teacher except seventh grade boys for this last event. All 6th and 7th grade students, you are to be back with your teachers. George Bauer, report to the announcer's table, please. George Bauer, sixth grade. While the officials are totaling up the scores, sixth grade, we have some final scores for you. Mr. Howe will meet the winning, the winning homeroom teacher in the middle of the field for sixth grade. 
in sixth place. Section 6-6, six, six, fifth place. Section 6-3, in fourth place. Section 6-4, in third place. Section 6-5. In second place, section six, one. Mr. Hillman, section six, two. Would Mr. Hillman, would you come out and receive your plaque for another year? In just one minute, we'll have final scores for the seventh grade. We have results for the seventh grade, and we had some very close scores. In sixth place, section 7-2. In fifth place, section 7-6. In fourth place, section 7-1. In third place, section 7-3. In second place, Section seven, four. And first place, section seven, five. Section seven, five. Mr. Schmidt, would you come out and accept the plaque for your group?